part of that high point tradition, you know, you're a great coach, and, you know, what can you say? I've been asked this question a million times, and it's the same answer. Like, I just, I'm so thankful for Coach Gardner and Coach Smith, and they're just such good supporters, and, you know, to, to win the state title after 12, it's just an honor, and I'm just so thankful for them. Yeah, you've wrestled her, we've always talked about before. It's the sixth meeting this year. Uh, you have the 4-2 advantage. When you wrestle somebody like that, you guys were very cautious out there because you knew what she was going to throw. What was going through your mind, especially at the end when she went on that shot, you were, it was tied up and you knew you had to go? It's, it's a different level of thinking because you just need to focus on the goal and no matter how hard it is, no matter how much she counters things of mine, it just, you know, I was just focused on, I wanted it and I just, I got, I got it. Oh, you won state titles uh, in rec? You know, I actually did not, but, you know, even just going to states in rec, like, obviously it's huge for the little kids, but I started wrestling in sixth grade, so, you know, it was just kind of building up to high school, and it's it's great to have exposure to the sport before high school, because it just, it brings so much. Thank you. And then finally, I, it's, well, the lights are off, but we'll, we'll, they'll, they'll know we're talking. I don't know if I, I'm going to give you my, uh, my light here, so that way, we don't look like I'm talking to somebody in the dark. Okay. All right, we'll do this. That, that looks like a creepy, you're a Blair Witch. Um, talking about this, you win this title. You had your name up there with the greats, like Smith, Gardner, Saldano. How does it feel to know, especially in girls wrestling at High Point, you're the first and you're setting a trend for all those little girls who may be in sixth grade in the rec program? Um, well, Noelle won it a couple years ago, I think two or three, and 
after her, I just like I I just tra I'm training with Noel, and it's just I love to be a part of the tradition of High Point and have such great coaches, state champion coaches, in my corner to support me. Thank you so much. I just wanted to get your thoughts on the match. I know tied going in, you went for a shot. You, you had to right there. Um, what was what were you thinking, and, and you know what are you feeling right now? Now, after you got the, the first stolen, you, you seem to be very aggressive, push the pace. Um, you know, what were you looking for there? Obviously, looking for you know trying to get on a single, but was there anything you were trying to see there? You know, trying because you seemed like you wanted to get her on her on her heels a little bit. Now you make the state finals here. Um, it's a long time for Newton to have somebody come down here and, and do this. Um, you know, the last person we talked about it yesterday was your coach. He, he won it in the mid '80s. For him to be Matt's side and, and kind of come talk to you, if there's anybody you can learn from, it's him. Um, just how do you feel your season went this year? And, and not only that, as a follow-up with that, with all the girls, the young girls you see that are here in the stands, and everyone to be cheering. You you had a cheering section. I don't know if you heard it, um, but you know, for you to kind of be that role model for a lot of these girls, how it feels. It's very nice to be able to show that you can come from nothing to be something great. You, you don't win. So keep your head up and come back next year.